Oh my god, guys. Look what I have here. <laughs> I was, um, I've got to go visit B's area. What? There's a kangaroo on my base? What? 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 Wait, uh, what? What's with the kangaroos? Whoa! Alright, we're gonna. Oh god. Um. Alright, we're gonna ditch them inside of the, um. <laughs> barn because there's a rex by my taming pen which is where I was going to bring this one why is there one on my base where did that come from All right, let's go grab that one and put it securely at my base and then take care of this rex problem over there uh, let's get a little bit of stamina hi guys welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved um, there's a kangaroo just on or okay I'm sorry it's a pro procoptodon uh, I keep calling them kangaroos because, you know, that's kind of marsupials and... Oh! I missed! Come here, you! I have no idea what levels either of these two are, so this is gonna be interesting. Um, I have like a hundred plus mushrooms. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tame both, depending on what level they are. I could pull it off, maybe. Hi, you two! Okay, can I, can I take a look at you? Level 2, pretty garbage. Level 1, even more garbage. <laughs> uh, but they are mate boosted. Oh, I don't know. Should I actually tame them both? They'd be really quick tames and we just kind of have them. And then I have to wait for a level 30 to wander around, I suppose. Hmm. This is so crazy! I have spent all this time not seeing any except for that one that we came across when we were taming our Quetzal Joker. Um, and now there's just two! Okay, let's take care of that Rex first. How about that? And then we'll um, make some decisions about these ruse. Um, let's first take a look at the level of this Rex, because if it's a 30... Oh, it's a 10. <laughs> um, that what? I really don't even know. That was... That was not planned. I didn't see the Rue before I left. You know, that was just what happened. I don't even know how. I don't even know. Okay, um... Yeah, we can, we can tame both. Why not? We'll just tame them. Uh, maybe if some of the other members want them. Um... Or want one of them, I'll, I'll give it away as I find some better levels. Um... You know, something like that. It's so hard to kill Rexes these days. It takes so long. Also, yeah, I noticed there's a, like there's three Brontos stuck on the cliff by my base. I'm not in the mood to like pick a fight with them, especially how long it takes now. Um, so I've just been ignoring it for the most part. Oh, killed a scorpion by accident. Oh, the scorpion killed the Rex. I didn't get the levels for it. And yes, there's a carnal stuck in a rock over there, if you did see it, I know. Okay, um, let's go ahead and sit. Hey guys, welcome back to a rainy day on Ark, and I think that's kind of appropriate for some of the things I need to talk about. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to keep the clip from earlier, which is me actually taming a Procoptodon, actually two of them. As you can see, uh, Jay and Tortimer are here. They got their Procoptodon. They're having fun right now. <laughs> um, and you can see the barn has been doing very well. It's almost done with the main level. I just gotta do one row of stone, and I gotta figure out how I'm gonna design the little like aviary. I'm thinking about using some kind of sloped roof or or ramp to kind of curve inward. Um, it just there's no corner pieces, you know, on arc, so it might be a little weird. We'll see. I'll have to experiment. Uh, maybe use Poet's services because his, his um, lighthouse looks amazing. But I have some unfortunate news to share. Um, now I know I'm going to get hate comments for it because that's what I've been getting anyway because people are weird. Um, as you know, I had adopted um, Sorry Poet and Seriously My Bad, the two crocodiles. Um, though many people seem to be very happy about this, there were some people who were very, very salty to the point where I have now banned two people from my channel. One who's a regular, 
and one who is just a complete jerk moron. And that's, that, yeah, he knows who he is, and I don't care if he feels poopy about it. He's banned. Um, either way, uh, I was planning, as I asked you guys before for some opinions, um, to either let them swim around out here, you know, on wander so that they'd be safe and I would be able to feed them through feeding troughs. Um, and, you know, let, let them have that freedom that Poet was talking about after he decided not to kill them, by the way. He was going to kill them. Remember that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, or I was thinking about putting them back in that same pond, but fortifying the area because I know Carnos can spawn there. Um, and, you, um, like I said, make another feeding trough so that they can stay in there and actually eat because they were not on aggressive when he released them. So they would not eat for themselves. They would have starved. That's something people didn't seem to understand. Now, last night, uh, like I think the entire tribe of Ronin was on, and it was amazing. All my friends were here. It was fun. Uh, they tamed like a million, million Procoptodons. Um, actually, I just think uh, I think Jay and Tort just left the building, and um, that meant you know things were getting quite active around this zone. Um, I was over here at the barn building, and I saw chaos break loose over here, and I realized Ronin was being attacked. They were all fleeing on their kangaroos because my stuff aggroed on them. So I went over here, spamming uh, semicolon, putting them on passive to stop killing them, but it was a little too late for Pudsey and her kangaroo, sadly. Uh, they got destroyed probably by the Rexes. Um, and so I cleaned up everybody, I put them back, I put people on neutral again, um, and then went back to building. Now, about half an hour later, I get the worst red text I've ever seen on my screen. And it says, seriously, my bad has been killed by a carno. And I'm like, no, no! So I fly up over here. All of my things are cluttered against the the sea wall right here. I guess they killed the Carno that did it. And in the water, I just see poor, poor, seriously, my bad's body. And his brother, or his sister, actually, they're both girls. Um, uh, sorry, poet, was in the water too. And I realized horrifically that I never set them back onto neutral. So they were on passive. But what bothers me the most is even if they weren't defending themselves, none of these guys could kill it fast enough. And that's because of this stupid freaking nerf. This is why I am building that. Literally. It's because these guys can't defend themselves anymore. If that Carno had stepped foot in here before the nerf, it would have been dead as soon as it bit something. Now it takes like five to ten shots of anything to kill it. And I'm just wondering, gosh, how strong was that Carno? And how low health were those those gators? I only managed to pump their health twice since I, t I took them in. And I know Poet uh, did uh, melee on them. But they didn't have the health. And I feel horrible. And I'm probably going to be blamed for their deaths. And, you know, if you want to be the person who does the blaming game, then go for it. But I could also say... Oh, I blame the server, or I blame the game for nerfing. I blame myself for putting them on passive. I could blame Ronan for making me put things on passive, but I'm not going to do that. Arc happens. Life happens. And I feel really bad. I've since moved, um, uh, sorry poet, in here for now until I can figure out what I'm going to do. I didn't want it to sit out with the other big carnivores anymore. I thought it could handle it. I thought she could handle it. Um, but I, I don't know. I can't. I, I can't. If I lose this one too, I'm going to feel horrible. Like, just complete garbo. So, she's staying in here for now. Don't worry. She won't be in captivity forever. I still plan to try to release her probably back in the other pond. Uh, and I might get her another friend. Uh, so that way she has someone there to help her and protect her. Uh, while I'm not able to give a, you know, watchful eye over it. And it really sucks. This is the first death I've had since Trinity the Second. Like, literally, I have been so careful. So freaking careful with everything I own. Nothing has died for months. 
So this is like, ugh, this is the worst. Absolutely the worst, especially because people were causing so much drama on my damn channel about the gators and, ugh. I apologize for the loss of, seriously, my bad. I apologize for that. I wish I had done better. I wish I had double checked to make sure the gators were back on neutral before I left the area. But, like I said, arc happens. Things pass. So, like I said, I'll probably try to find maybe a really high level friend for Seriously My Bad. Or sorry, uh, for Sorry Poet. And take them over, because I can fly them over with the Quetzal, to um, the other pond after I fortified it a bit, put a feeding trough, put them on wander, and let them do their thing. Um, like I said, my plan wasn't just to keep them up in a box, ever. That was never my plan. I was going to re-release them to be able to wander. Because I'll get my own gators over time. That's fine. But I don't like seeing something that's going to die in the wild that was previously owned and became a loved creature on someone's, like, series. <laughs> that was what bothered me, you know? Poet can make any decision he wants. That's fine. He loves them. If he said, I don't want anybody ever to take these, I wouldn't have touched them. Um, but I just felt the need to give them a home and an opportunity to live the rest of their lives. And I feel bad. And I hope you guys understand that. <laughs> I really do. Anyway, um, so yeah, I think aside from this little banter, uh, I wound up deleting a whole spiel I was going on about the YouTube comment section what I've been seeing lately, which was disturbing me, because our community has never been that garbage before. Um, and Walk was here, he was being the comic relief, but I decided to cut that out. Uh, it's not as necessary as it was before. And uh, I think it was more of a way for me to vent than anything about what I was seeing. I just miss the happy little community who randomly smiley faced at each other in the comments, who happily was enjoying the series, telling me how much f fun they had talking to one another in the comments. Like, that stuff was nice. I don't know why suddenly some people just went mental. <laughs> and like I said, I've had to ban two people. So if you make comments and you can't see them, uh, you're one of them. But obviously, if you haven't said a single thing that was ever bad, there's no need to worry. If you insulted me, uh, insulted the way I play, insulted me without even bothering to watch my footage or my perspective on things, and yeah, you're gone. <laughs> Come here, Carno. Okay. I'm, I'm now a slightly a Carno hater. I can't hate Moss. I can't hate Moss. But every time I see a Carno, I'm, I'm definitely going to kill it now. When I spawned in, too, uh, a bunch of Pullman Scorpius attacked my base. Somehow, I don't even know how they got around, but they did. And all my stuff kind of went mental, too. And that's what's so annoying, is that <laughs> if a scorpion had crossed before the nerf, one bite would be dead. And it took like, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds for them to actually kill it. Which is really bad in comparison to what they used to do. And I mean, it's a scorpion. My rex could step on it and it would die. Why is that not a thing? <laughs> Alright guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it off at that. Um, I don't know what the deal is with this... Uh, Par Paraceratherium. He's just kind of doing things. I also should probably introduce you to two new tames. Um, one was done on stream. The, the other two were not. Sorry, did I say two new tames? Three new tames. Uh, I need a name still for the Procoptodon, which you'll see in this episode earlier. <laughs> and then, this is Polaris, the white Paraceratherium. Yay! Oh, look at that face. That is... Just hold it, hold it, hold it, come here. I'm trying to make an interesting thumbnail. <laughs> um, uh, he tamed out, I forget, and, and he's level 18 now. I've, I've leveled him up quite a bit. He's kind of holding stuff for me for now. Um, and Big Mama needs to be renamed. I'm just going to go ahead and do um, Vio. Because Big Mama is a, fem a male, not a, not a female. So Big Mama will go to the female mammoth we eventually get. Uh, we still don't have a name for the white mammoth here. Uh, if I don't see something cool... Cool? <laughs> if I don't see something soon, uh, I might just come up with something. 
you know, looking at him, I randomly was like, Oreo. <laughs> so, I don't know. What do you guys think about Oreo? Oreo the mammoth. Um, and then over here, we have two Parasaurs. Finally, Parasaurs. Right? Early game stuff. Never got them. Um, I named this one Dimension. Uh, he's like the first black Parasaur I've ever seen. And I, I thought it was awesome. I was like, you know, I'm just going to tame it. I don't have one. I might as well. And then I saw this one right next to him. And she's got this really cool shade of like pinkish red and a white fin with a, like, a green top on her head and a white face. And I was like, dang, she cool. She's cool. So I named her Florencia because she reminds me of fluorescence with how her colors are. Um, so yeah, we have those two guys now. Well, lady and boy. She's already laid an egg. Um, it's in her inventory. I don't have any parasaur eggs, so that'll be helpful for whatever I need to tame with those. And yeah, everybody else is just here, chilling, doing what they do. Just checking everybody right now for levels. I don't think anybody has one. Oh yeah, also, I streamed the other day, and I gave Beauty, our black wolf, to Poet. And he has renamed it uh, Eater of Elwyn's Anki for real, since Winter has kidnapped uh, Nyx, the pup that we bred for them. Uh, Poe was extremely happy because he's wanted a black wolf, and you know I was like, you know what? Uh, you know I'm just gonna give it to him, you know, uh, to show like again, people don't seem to understand that we're friends, and defending him when he's not even upset and yelling at me is not exactly the smartest thing to do. <laughs> um, as I said, if there if we have a problem with anybody on a server, if someone had a problem with me, if I had a problem with them, I'm sure we'd talk it out. We're not just like random people. We're friends. It's, ugh. Anyway. There's a Rex here, so I'm just trying to kill it. I, I know this Bronto is just... Yeah, whoops. Sorry. Sorry, friend. Didn't mean to kill you. Oh, well. Come here, you stupid Rex. Anyway, I just wanted to have that conversation with you guys. I... You guys are my family. You guys are the world to me, and I don't want to see hate and Especially hate that's unfounded on the channel, you know? If you have constructive criticism, please feel free to leave it. If you have suggestions, be polite. You know, don't be demanding. And just try to be kind. It doesn't take too much to do that. <laughs> hey, there's a circle right there. Maybe that'll be the friend. As long as it's not a male. If I put a male... Nine? I don't know. I might do a better level than that. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will catch you next time on ARC. Bye! I can't really do anything while I'm on here. Can I poop? I pooped! <laughs> <laughs>